All right, you beautiful humans, as promised, I am gonna be running a non-video related test and we're diving headfirst into a pool of Xcode concrete and we're gonna be building something because some of you have reached out about some specific use cases with Xcode. And so I'm going to attempt a WebKit build on the 14 inch M1 Max here. And I'll be trying this particular build for the first time. I haven't tested it. I don't know what to expect. And so I do respect the skill and craft, but my disclaimer here is that this is not my wheelhouse of skill and craft. So feel free to hit me with your best shot. So I've gone ahead and cloned this and we're gonna do this and, and run it through terminal if, if you're down with that. So I already have what I need to get this uh, going here. I'll also link up, I'm sure many of you already know the resource, but I'll link up what I'm using. Um, and I think what we can also do is add time so that it will, it will do that for us. For the sake, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm also gonna be taking some notes because I've never run this, so we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, so what you have here is, so the two efficiency cores um, on this Mac, and then you can see, well, so the performance cores are also ramping up. So it looks like we're, we're off, all right. As far as the RAM is concerned, not pressuring anything. Like I said, I do not spend time in Xcode. I've got the utmost respect for it as a creator. So just trying to figure out what I'm looking for. Fans are off, we're at 84 degrees Celsius at this point here. Let's get this folder out of the way. 88, 87, or was I, oh no, it's just kind of dropping all over the place. So we're looking at our efficiency cores. You can see our performance cores as well. I'm using TG Pro, if you wanna know. I feel like this is gonna take a while. Um, I don't know, if anybody needs a snack, hit the fridge and I'll bring something back for you. But I just wanted to take a look and see what we got going on here. But so far the fans are still off. We're about a minute 30 in. Okay, now we're hitting 91 degrees Celsius on this. And of course you can see, you can see here what we have going on. All right, so we've got some performance core starting to, to hit 91 degrees Celsius, fans, 2400 RPMs, starting to move up, okay. All right, so about six minutes in, that's kind of why I wanted the, the timer there. We're hitting about 97, 98 degrees Celsius. Fans spinning about 4,400, I do hear them. It's not annoying. But they're spinning. All right, so checking out the CPU here. Uh, I did notice the performance core, so eight hovering. Of course, now it, jumped, it, it came back down pretty quickly. It teased uh, 100 degrees Celsius for a sec. All right, so about 13 minutes in and uh, fans down to 3,300 on the left, 36 on the right. Looks like we got like a little reprieve here, but we'll see if this ramps back up. Yep, so there's a performance core eight hitting 101 and seven, about 100 just for a sec. All right, it like finished, I didn't even know. All right, 14 minutes, 37 seconds. I will certainly post this and I'm sure some of you are interested in like a battery test. So I wanna go ahead and clear things out, restart, get back up, and then we'll do a battery test. But that's what we got, 1437. All right, friends, restarted, cleared out the build, unplugged, not in low power mode. So one of the things with low power mode, the, I mean, downloading stuff is certainly slower. And there is also the issue of like installing things promotion is gone, things are a little bit choppier, and it's not just like, oh, the promotion and, and the refresh rate, but there are certain things that you can notice. Like you can still stream, you can still stream YouTube and and uh, surf and, and, and do those things, but I did notice like trying to download apps and software and I was trying to install things, it just took longer. So no low power mode here. All right, so we are not even a minute in and Performance cores are already up to 95 degrees Celsius. And of course you can see the CPU, same deal here. Nothing's different. Not that I can see. 
And obviously going back to the Ram, I'm just showing you the Ram. There's no pressure there. Fans are starting to spin up at about 23, 2400 for each at about a minute in, minute and a half. So performance core eight and seven, eight specifically, that definitely teases that 100 degrees, 9900 degrees Celsius. Oh no, 104, 102. So you can see we're in the red, just for like brief moments. So it's just interesting to, to see this. I don't know if this is helpful for you. And again, for those of you that, that do this day in and day out, you're like, yeah, this guy has no idea what he's doing. I'm just sharing the information. All right, so we are about three minutes th uh, 30 in. You can see those performance cores, eight, seven, a couple of them there, 100 degrees Celsius, just touching that briefly. 3,800 on the left, 4,100 on the right. I can hear them. All right, so about five minutes, 45 seconds in, 4,600 on the left, around 5,000 RPMs on the right. All right, just a little over 10 minutes in. Fans, let's see, 38, 3900 on the left, 4,000. So it looks like we're kind of ramping back up again. Doing well though. All right, so we're getting close to where it was finishing with it plugged in. Oh, it's finished. 14 minutes, 33 seconds. Battery at 91%, not low power mode. All right, so 1433. And versus, I think it was 1437 again, a, a few seconds here. Unplugged, hanging at 91%. Everything kind of cooling back down. Pretty interesting. Now, of course, some of you have asked about low power mode. I mean, is it even worth it running it in low power mode? You're shaking your head. Why not? So, all right, let me charge this back up. Remove the, the build. We'll redo it and see if it does anything. Like if it slows down the build if it preserves more of the battery. So I'll run it for you. All right, I'll charge it up, clear it out. If I look different, it's because I had to squeeze in a run in between that charge up. So I'm glowing. Now we're in low power mode and we are set, got the time. All right, so two and a half minutes in and we are still running at about 70 degrees Celsius here. There's our CPU efficiency. You got the power cord. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, so we are about five minutes in. You can see what's happening here with the CPU. I even pulled up activity monitor to look at the CPU history here. And this thermal's 80 degrees, between 70 and 80 degrees, just depending on even that that CPU, oh no, wait, here it is. The Performance Core 8 that was touching 99, 100 degrees. So far, nothing. And the fans are not on. Battery still at 100%. All right, so finally, as we're approaching the seven minute mark, the fans are starting to spin up at 2300 on the left and 2500 on the right here. Temps are 89 still. Okay, so now the performance cores are starting to push a little bit. I mean, still not a ton. Battery still sitting at 100%. Okay, so now we're pushing and we're at 731. All right, so we are starting to round like about 14 minutes, 30 seconds. So we haven't stopped yet. Either we haven't gotten to some of that or, but the, but the fans are, have not spun up at like 2,500 now on the left, 2,700 on the right CPU. So those cores are hitting around 94 degrees and hanging out there. Batteries at 96% at this point. All right. 1743 so that took three minutes longer over three minutes longer battery is sitting at 94 percent so we only gained about like a few percentage points here on the battery fans never spun up audible and not really beyond 2500 on the left or 2700 on the right from what i could tell and as far as the thermal footprint here or you know the thermals 
I mean, nothing that really seemed to bump up higher than 94 degrees Celsius. Fascinating. I mean, the thing is, is like, it's not like I sit in front of a computer waiting for my video to export. So another three minutes to get you maybe three percentage points, three to four percentage points on this. Now, regardless, I, I did not, I don't have a browser open. I'm not doing anything else. I don't necessarily think that you would not be doing something else. So like that is just this test, just running this build and that's it. So now I feel, I feel like I'm gonna have to just like go in and do more like real world comparisons here. I don't know, but that's what I got. So there you are. If you're curious, now you know. It means that I gotta dive in a little bit more on this as far as low power mode, cause I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure about it, but that's what I got. So I'm hungry, kitchen's open. I'll see you in there.